In this problem, we're being asked to figure out the concentration of a solution of iron chloride after we've added water to it, which is going to dilute the sample. So we're expecting a concentration which is going to be less than the original concentration. The first step that we always want to use in solving a problem like this is to identify our variables, both known variables and the unknown variable. In this problem, we were told that we were starting with a concentration of 0.4 molar iron chloride, and uh, we had a volume of 4 milliliters of that iron chloride solution. We're told that we're going to dilute that iron chloride by adding additional water to a total volume of 10 milliliters. The thing that we're trying to find here, our unknown variable, is what is that new molarity going to be after we've diluted our sample. In order to solve this problem, we're going to need to apply the equation M1V1 equals M2V2. Let's go ahead and continue this problem by solving our equation in terms of the unknown variable, which is M2. We can see that dividing by V2 allows us to solve for M2. That will be M1V1 divided by V2. Now that we've solved our equation for our unknown variable, M2, let's go ahead and plug in our known values and find the new concentration of this iron chloride solution. We can see that units of milliliters is going to cancel here and here. We'll be left with units of molarity, and this is a good thing because that's what we're trying to find, a unit of concentration. So we can take 0.4, multiply by 4, and divide by 10, and this will allow us to calculate a molarity of 0.16 molar.